From a global perspective, I'd say Nike uh, uh, was really, really smart about what they did with us around the World Cup. Equivalent in Australia, what are you seeing? The recent one that ran was uh, actually with the Australian government. Give us some examples. You say that you know advertisers are starting to get their heads around it. What sort of uh, cases in Australia, or even globally actually, uh, would you put up as a benchmark for what other, other corporates should be looking at, sure. how, how Facebook is being used? Uh, from a global perspective, I'd say Nike uh, uh, was really, really smart about what they did with us around the World Cup. Uh, it was one of our first ever global campaigns that we worked on together. And the goal of this campaign was to um, uh, play that video, that three-minute Write Your Future video on Facebook. They were able to run that one day video um, for the entire day, 24 hours, in over 20 countries and over 12 languages and we executed it on a single day. And the result of that was, was quite good. They more than doubled their fan base around the Nike um, World Cup group and uh, that number got up to over 3 million fans. The real goal was around this one major event um, to run the reach block. We call them reach block where your ad appears 24 hours, 100% share of voice to that target audience that you're looking after. And so this was a one day event that triggered those types of results. Equivalent in Australia, what are you seeing with some, some good examples of corporates uh, doing using Facebook? Uh, a recent one that ran was uh, actually with the Australian government. Uh, it was called Donate Life. Uh, it's a pretty uh, exciting campaign that we were able to participate in. And um, the objective of the campaign was to drive awareness around family wishes and whether or not your family knew what your wishes were around donating organs. And the result was um, amazing interaction, amazing engagement rate uh, around things like polls. We ran a poll on a single day and we had nearly 20,000 people respond to that poll about knowing whether or not you knew what your family wishes were. Um, and uh, uh, if you go to the page today, it's, it's Donate Life, you can see a lot of the conversations that are happening. It's really exciting to see that how much of the content that's being created by the community as opposed to just coming one way from the brand, right. uh, which in many cases is what happens in our space. And we call it engagement. It's really about initiating a conversation with your customer base and having them participate in two-way dialogue and really thinking about it as an ongoing conversation and an ongoing relationship, less about a start and a stop to a campaign, uh, but something that's ongoing. We've um, really made sure that we've taken care of the user experience and not disrupted that experience. Uh, so you won't see the over the page takeovers and that sort of thing. Um, and they've appreciated that. And so if you come to the site today, a lot of the ad unit that you see today looks a lot like content. Uh, and it's wrapped and included with social context. So if I log in today and I see that four of my friends have uh, responded to a poll for Donate Life, that's going to have a different type of influence over me if, there, if that didn't exist. Next week on Ad News Influences. You know, it's really important to not think about this in the same way that you would think about a microsite, which is very one way, one directional, and I'm going to post something to you and it's going to sit there. Not building up a fan base to simply sell them mobile service.